Oh, <laughs> hey guys. So I'm uh, real close to the Idaho border. I'm in Wyoming. Been hanging out here for a bit. I'm surrounded by wasps right <laughs> right now. Um, and I'm hitchhiking to Reno, but I don't know how directly. I'm going there to interview Zane Lamprey, who you might know from shows like Drinking Made Easy. Three Sheets, uh, super excited to uh, meet him. He's doing a stand-up tour just at breweries. So I'm going to go hitchhike to Reno, meet him, interview him. Let's chat, really. Don't know where I'm going to end up tonight. Boise's a possibility. So let's, let's go find out what happens. <laughs> Hit the road, stick a thumb out. Let's go. Hey. Where did you go? I'm on my way to Boise. Boise? Yeah. I'm going to Idaho. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, so I just hitched a ride into Idaho Falls coming from Wyoming. I'm about to walk to the highway, stick my thumb out. If anyone asks where I'm going, I'm sure they will. I'm gonna say uh, Boise. <laughs> but really, I gotta be in Reno in a couple days. Boise's not directly on the way, but I really like Boise, so I got some time. From here to Reno, I could theoretically be in Reno tonight if I got the right ride, so definitely tomorrow and no rush, so might as well go to Boise, maybe have a beer, so it's worth it. Let's hit the road. Thanks so much. Weapons, I hope, right? No. No guns or anything? Nope. Like that. All right, I'm in uh, American Falls, Idaho. Got a few rides, all super quick today. Uh, yeah, super quick. Just a few minutes, maybe 10 minutes max in between all three of these rides. So, well, maybe I will wind up in Boise. Keep it going. Thanks so much. Just got a sweet ride. I think there was six rides today. Still daylight and I'm in Boise. <laughs> so I'm gonna go walk to uh, probably Barbarian Brewing where I filmed for my hopping show last summer, of course. And uh, grab a beer, maybe hit someone up. Maybe find a place to camp tonight. I have no idea. <laughs> I'm winging it, but uh, beer always helps with that. So, Boise, let's do it. They're pairing three different tacos with three different beers. And so if you're <laughs> cool. At... Boom. Just like that, I'm in Winnemucca. So last night was a blast in Boise. I don't know how many breweries we went to. Uh, met up with someone who started this Boise Beer Buddies uh, kind of thing. You become a member and uh, get discounts on beers and stuff. So met up with her for the first time and yeah, just hit a bunch of bunch of breweries and. Uh, Ended up crashing there for the night. Slept in, hung over, hot day. It's like 105 degrees. Hitchhiking today was brutal. Uh, I'm in Winnemucca. I'm on I-80. I probably could hitch a ride and get to Reno tonight. Probably. That's where I'll be staying. But uh, I don't have a place to stay there till tomorrow night. So kind of eyeballing this area here. Maybe I'll camp or something. Uh, I don't know. I'm just winging it. Maybe I will start hitching towards Reno. Let's get my bearings here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Playing it by ear. See what happens. Good night. Oh yeah. Right? That makes me happy. That's that gives so me cool. joy. 
and seven. All right, I made it to Reno. Uh, two rides today. I got a ride from a truck driver, like almost here, and then I got a got a ride from this awesome girl going to a gaming convention in Indianapolis. Um, one of the games she's working on is called Boop, <laughs> uh, about cats and stuff. I don't know, it sounded like fun. She dropped me off here. I checked into the El Dorado. Still get free rooms at a certain casino, so that's what I'm doing. They put me in room seven seven seven. I wasn't sure if I was gonna gamble, but now I kind of like have to. What little money I got left. Um, I haven't eaten in like two days, maybe like 50 something hours. Um, so I know a place that's like all you can eat sushi. So I think I'm gonna roll the dice, go get some sushi, and uh, yeah, figure it out from there. Got my gambling shirt on. Just went to a family's wedding in Wyoming and I uh, got this shirt, so I looked respectable. Holding on to it for moments like this to go be a degenerate gambler. That's when you gotta look good. Um, yeah, I got $50 in free play. So I gotta figure out how that works. I'm pretty sure I can sit at a slot machine and pack out the 50 bucks until it turns into real money. Hopefully 20 bucks or more, real cash. And um, yeah, after hitchhiking 12 rides to uh, get here, sleeping in the desert last night, um, eating way too much sushi today. <laughs> uh, yeah, I could, I could go for a little bit of cash, a little bit of beer, so. Let's go to the casino. The, the shirt, the shirt was ineffective. <laughs> uh, I did not win any money. In fact, I ended up uh, losing money. So we might as well grab beer and uh, whatever. I got 120 or 140 bucks right now, but one day that'll be zero, and one day that'll be 2,000. I don't know. Money comes and goes so easy. So might as well live, right? Uh, so yeah, let's talk myself into it. <laughs> let's go to revision. Gotta live. What, what? <laughs> All right, I'm leaving revision and goddamn, I'm impressed. I just got a flight. I got a three <laughs> truck. I got three hazy IPAs and an Imperial Stout. That was like 14% barrel age. That was the best. I saved that one for the end. Uh, I kind of nursed all the beers. They're delicious. The place uh, lived up to the reputation. I uh, talked to some really cool people there. A dude who's just been in the packaging part of the program for a couple weeks. And the, the bartender told him about the show and he just thought it was cool and uh, woo woo. <laughs> Gave me a four pack. <laughs> it's one way to my heart, free beer. <laughs> yeah, I tried my hundred bucks and uh, I'm a dumbass. I got up to like 200 and I uh, fucking blew it. So now I'm down to like 40 bucks um, in my life. Um, so I just gotta make that work. <laughs> one way or another so let's go forward all right it's my last night in reno and that means i'm going to meet a uh, zane lamprey at the comedy show i'm super stoked about that have him at the on the podcast uh, ask him some questions hear some stories i'm sure and uh see the stand-up <laughs> i know the stand-up i'm pretty sure his stand-up uh, has a lot to do with while he was on the show and drinking around the world and um so i'm sure there's a bunch of hilarious stories so i'm pretty stoked let's go this is Mike Kenny. What are you talking about? Why are you being so weird? Uh, so I'm doing this interview right before I go on stage, so I should probably end this and let him do this. Okay.